Hi everyone, this is Tash. Um, this evening I'm going to show you uh, Heroes of Normandy and the battle cards in particular. Uh, we have been working on implementing this board game feature into the computer version and uh, they have been available as uh, public beta for a while, while now. So uh, if you have the game on Steam you can actually check them out by opting in uh, to the public beta. And we are just about ready to wrap uh, the beta up and release them in an official update. So uh, why don't we take a look on how they work. They are a pretty nice addition uh, to the game. I think they offer um, offer a lot of uh, tactical options as well as uh, unpredictability. So I'm just going to set up a skirmish here. Going to uh, attack the Germans at this uh, river crossing. Okay, choose your army. Heroes on the lose? No. I feel like playing with some fireworks. I have... Um... Oh, by the way, we... Um... We have the developers in the in the chat with us if you want to ask uh, any questions, and um, and I'm going I'm just kind of going to assume that you are it's not the first time you are seeing Heroes of Normandy. Um, well, you know, this is the uh, skirmish setup sc screen. You, see, you can see that I have 25 uh, gold uh, remaining. So uh, what I want to do is get oddball into my team, so I'm getting rid of this M5 Stuart. I can live without that one. And I'm going to grab oddball who is 75 golds. He comes with his own Sherman, so it's uh, pretty useful. Okay, bunch of German heroes. How about I let them use their uh, fireworks unit as well. Or better, things go boom. Okay. That's uh, going to put us against two tanks, but come on. We like a challenge. Okay, so uh, this is a skirmish mission. So my aim is to uh, destroy a number of units, 400 points worth, to be precise. Okay, and this, uh, this part is still should be familiar um, with those who have seen or played the game. I've put my recon units forward, but I'm not going to overcomplicate the deployment anymore. Let's jump straight into action. You see, this is my starting hand. I'm, received, I'm getting four cards. There are separate decks for the uh, German and the American side. Uh, let's see what we have. Weak point. Okay, that's pretty nice. Um, courage, I can get a removal suppression uh, marker. That's, that's also quite useful. Uh, one additional order, that's very nice. Especially I have a good number of units. And I can remove an order from an enemy unit. So, um, that's nice. This is the part where I'm uh, assigning uh, my order tokens, uh, but let's uh, let's receive that bonus one, shall we? I'm clicking on show cards, and you can see that the uh, the card which I can actually play at this moment in the game is highlighted in green. So I'm just selecting it and clicking on it, and I've got my extra order. Yeah, I have seven now, though I will need to place one on oddball, so maybe um, start out with him. We try a uh, dash with these recon units and then I think I will just uh, try and move up my center. Ah, and the bazooka, that's, that's, that's also be useful. Of course I'm playing single player so I don't really, you know, bother with, um, 
with the order I'm, I'm placing the other tokens in. If, if you are playing multi multiplayer, you might not want to uh, put the bluff last to prevent your opponent from uh, figuring out what you are doing. Okay, uh, let's see. So Oddball can shoot right from here on a good number of units, which is nice. Let's see if there's any point to it. Well, not to these guys. But he can punish it in front. Is there any point on shooting at that machine gun over there? Well, not really. I have the option to uh, spend one of my ammo tokens, which would uh, give me a plus one bonus to my roll, but uh, I don't think I need that. You can see that, um, again, two of my remaining three cards are green, and um, you know what? I almost forgot. Let's uh, let's play Communication Scrambled, removing an order marker from an enemy unit, and of course I'm going to choose the enemy tank here. I don't need this Panzer IV to be causing any trouble. Okay, now, weak point is that if my unit shoots a heavy vehicle, its uh, armor value will be equal to the weakest side, regardless of the shot's direction. Uh, I should have remembered this and played it while I was still... Uh, yeah. Right, so... Um, So I chose that card, but of course um, there was no point to that because I already used my main armament and there was no point whatsoever in shooting my machine gun at the tongue, but never mind. And there goes my machine gun. I probably should have been, you know, less uh, greedy about shooting stuff and just uh, started with one of these guys out in the open. But now I'm going to use this re recon unit to rush into this bunker and grab that box with some goodies. A rifle grenades, excellent. Rifle grenades are the best kinds of grenades because they go far. Right. These Germans are sh surely not messing around. Now you can you could see the AI playing a card itself, giving a bonus to its shots, but it missed luckily. Okay, so let's go move into the woods. I have had enough units lost already. Now hold on for a sec though. Right, so you can see that I have now this rifle grenade here, and after I've picked it up, <coughs> my units can use it. Uh, yeah, it's tempting, but uh, what the other thing that's tempting, and for the enemy, it's my bazooka unit. Uh, so, what I'm going to do now is move them into the forest and just uh, hope for the best. I will want them close next turn to actually use the bazooka on that uh, Panzer IV. Okay, Lieutenant Parks, one of my hero units. Okay, and it's now uh, time for the supply phase, so all my units uh, without orders can move, but they cannot shoot at enemy units, of course. Mm, this guy is going to stay here, I think. They are going to move up. That light tank up there looks it's um, in a pretty good position behind the building, so uh, I will just start, try to disturb it. Alright, I didn't 
I just kind of uh, assumed that my uh, bazooka unit uh, would be uh, spotted by the enemy, so I didn't bother ambushing. Nice supply phase for the AI. Right, so, um, let's see. You know what, this is, no, yeah, I'm, I'm keeping it. I would have a chance, uh, the chance to discard it uh, now, but um, this can be very useful. So I'm just going to keep it and draw three new cards. Okay, one additional order, very nice. Also pretty cool, and with this one I can basically I can make one of my units move uh, and and or attack, so activate properly without receiving an order token. Okey Use that bazooka while we can. Yay, no hit. Oddball is saved, and now my bazooka can shoot. And this would be actually quite nice hitting the rare, if, if I'm not mistaken. And there's a hit, and I uh, cool, so they are suppressed. And one more will hit to uh, destroy them. Maybe we can finish off this tank. How about I'm playing Bullet Storm on Oddball? And let's see. Oh, yeah. And it's now to destroy it. Okay, I think this was a big step toward victory. We have now 175 points, we have plenty of enemy units to destroy for a victory, but it, it, it's ought to become easier from now on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just reading the comments here. It has been lucky indeed. Oh yeah, and still have a machine gun to fire, with all my nice little bonus, so... Uh, well, I can... I can make sure to hit these guys, or almost certain to finish off these ones, but they don't have an order on them. So, uh, let's shoot. Uh, it's a 400 point match, so I would need 400 to win, just to answer one of the questions. Well, there goes the bazooka as uh, expected, really. Hmm. Okay, let's continue hitting these guys. Okay, 
you are, you are. Well, I really don't feel like firing a rifle grenade just uh, to attack a single unit. Um, how about... There's a big bunch of them here, if you notice. So, uh, let's just try to survive a bit of a suicide run here. Right, so I'm going to try to finish off the um, injured unit now, which I probably should have done already. Let's use uh, one of the ammo tokens, so I can be quite certain I'm going to hit. Yay! Okay. Oh, hidden objective. I have unlocked some grenades. Yeah, I really can't complain on the uh, dice rolling so far, can I? Look at me! <laughs> right, so... Um, <laughs> so thanks to uh, what you might, you know, attribute to uh, amazing luck, but in fact it's the it's my superior skills in uh, in uh, modern tactical warfare. I have won the skirmish scenario well ahead of schedule. So um, let's find that's um, something else to do, especially as there has been a bunch of cards and card mechanics I did not have time to show you because I'm just uh, too good apparently. Okay, Bocage. Well, it is Normandy, right? So why not play in the Bocage? Uh, heroes on the loose. Well, light and fast does sound just the thing you need for um, for the Bocage, and it has rifle grenades, which are my favorites. Plus thirty extra gold, which will let me uh, grab. Captain Pepper from the US Rangers. And now, Zach, I'm not going rogue, no. That might influence uh, your, uh, your otherwise correct impression about my tactical genius, so. Okay, so I need to get, grab 400 points again. Um, I didn't check if I have a Recon unit. Should have, but... Yeah, here we go. Let's just shuffle these guys around a bit. Okay, let's see what what cards we get. Okay, high command. We've seen that surprise lets you uh, enter a building through a uh, through a window. That's that can be a very unpleasant surprise for the other side, indeed. Okay, you're returning a grenade to the unit that threw it. That's nice. And this, um, these two cards. Uh, can show you one of the uh, one of the nice mechanics. So let's just uh, proceed. Okay, so. Let's uh, 
especially for multiplayer, you know, uh, we are using, uh, although you can play real time with your opponents and, and see, see your game updated with his moves and see the replay of, of his moves in real time, it does use as a kind of asynchronous mode, uh, so that you can just, you know, uh, leave your game and return to it later. So because of this, we had to use a system for the cars that allowed uh, for this and didn't force you uh, to to be real time and uh, and finish a game from from start to finish. So here's how we have done it. You see, this driven back card. First, you need to receive a suppression marker. Will immediately retreat uh, for its whole movement value. Uh, yeah, I mean the uh, play by email system. Yes, uh, we are using the the play by email servers for for this, of course. Okay. So I'm going to play this card, and you see that I can designate targets for it. And I can basically designate all of the enemy units because it's uh, potentially applicable for all of them. It means that I can now select the targets, either clicking, down on, clicking on them on the map, or on the list you can see on the, on the left. And then the first one that receives a suppression marker will have this card played on it. Um, you know what, let's just select all of them and um, and confirm it. You see the animation and also you can notice the little card icon on them. This is a reminder that you have uh, played some kind of card on that unit already. Uh, also you can see that the driven back card is now with a yellow highlight, meaning that it has uh, uh, been activated. Targets have been selected for it. All right, I'm going to rush these recon guys here into this rubble, and that's that's for them. Right. So half truck time. Okay, there's a machine gun that really needs to go. Uh, they uh, they have been activated, as you can see by the by the grey icon, and they have yet to move. Now it's impossible for me to hit them through the through the woods and the wheat field. So um, okay, let's just try and hit them. And um, before I do that. Let's play Return to the Sender as well. It's uh, It works the same way as the previous card, so I can choose which one of my units uh, should actually use this card when the opportunity uh, presents itself. And uh, you often would, would use this to kind of prioritize, you know, I mean, there might be units you didn't really don't want to save, but, but there might be a critical one that, that really, really needs to stay alive. So, but for now I'll just select all and uh, and move on. Okay. Well, and of course, this isn't um this didn't help me any because I'm fighting now on the move. So, uh Tough luck, I guess. Yes. Now, of course, of course, this was um, this was merely a clever ruse from my part. It wasn't that I just uh, completely messed up my move and had one of my half truck destroyed. No. Yeah, just as again. There's no. But by the way, I might be able to actually s suppress one of these guys. No, move too much, and there is way too much cover for that. Yes. Yeah, so as a good tip for the fu for the future, if you. If you ever have a force of half trucks, 
Do not put me in command of them. But ultimately, it's their fault. You know, they uh, they should have more armor. Okay. Um. Okay. So. I'm going to use one of my rifle grenades here. Just put one up. Rolling for scatter. You, you can see, um, you can see here, which uh, roll value will mean which scatter direction. Well, could have been much worse. Oh well. Uh, right, because of course those uh, those guys are in cover. Yeah. I can just set these guys up for uh, future ups. Uh, uh, sorry, supply phase. It's way too easy to get uh, used to the lots of um, uh, uh, order tokens that I had in the in the previous game. AI, of course, setting up better firing positions for itself. But it should really. Okay. Uh, you know what? I don't need surprise one. I don't care too much for this in this situation. And let's just discard this uh, on account of uh, trying to show you guys more cards. But let's just high command just to do. Okay, I got the surprise again. A speed setup. Good for my machine gun if I decide to move it any closer. And burst into action. That's uh, that's pretty nice. The unit gains the fire on the move ability without any penalties. That's that's pretty sweet. Okay. Survived the uh, MG forty two, that's that's very nice. Well, if I was to shoot from here, that would be pretty too bad. Hmm. So that's minus. If I go go to the maximum of my uh, movement ability, I could uh, get it down to minus one, which uh, which still isn't amazing. So I'm just going to sh shoot a, f a rifle grenade instead. Scatter. Ouch. Oh well. Okay, they are trying to suppress crit. And they fail. Crit is not, not one to be easily suppressed. Right, so it's turn time for my machine gun, so it's also um well 
their line of sight isn't too great, is it? Right. How about... I'm just going to uh, burst into action, move over here, turn over, so setting up the tri uh, tripod. And let's see what I can do. Ah, uh, still horrible. That wheat field is really, really screwing me. Well, I'm just going to waste one of my ammo tokens for a long shot. Ow. Right, so you see that the AI had a, a card set up for uh, at least some of his units. So instead of scoring a hit, um, I just placed a suppression marker. Which, you know could better than a miss, but uh, not really what I was hoping for. By the way, let's just uh, take a bit of time off to... Uh, um, ...show you some of the other stuff we have. So, uh, you see that even, even during a scenario, uh, you can... Uh, open your deck. Uh, so you see all the possible cards that you can still get. You can get tooltips out of them uh, for them and also you can see the red marks of the cards which are not currently in the deck for one uh, reason or the other. And of course the, the in-game wiki also has the uh, all the card information. do with these guys. Wheatfield is still killing everyone so I'm just going to... am I? Yeah, it's not very... Uh, the poor uh, wreck of the half truck isn't very that well placed for to be used as cover either so um, I'm just going to uh, come here and hope for the worst. Uh, Best. I'm expe expecting the worst. Not that my tactical genius is being overcome by, by uh, the bad luck of uh, having a wheat field. Just right in my way. Well, Captain Pepper can sure toss that rifle grenade to some busy parts. So why don't we try that then? Oh, come on. Really? Well, at least I broke in some windows, probably. Okay. It's not a supply phase for the AI, so... Um, uh, it is done for the turn. Which I don't mind. I am nowhere near of my 400 points. Let's continue rushing the recon forward, because why not? What else we should do there? Get to the rubble. Okay, poor damage support. Maybe they should be doing their support stuff from back here. Stuart should come a bit forward. And Clint, whom I have again forgot. He is going to be brave about it and storm through the wheat field. Okay, you know what? Let's just um, get rid of everything and get new cards. Remove enemy order marker. That's that's sweet. 
Fire on the move. Awesome. Remove another order. Excellent. And grabbing the initiative the next time. Even better. Okay. Clint will be able to take care of himself. Let's continue the assault with these guys. And these over here should follow them. Hmm. Maybe with the support of the machine guns? Nah. They'll just run up once the uh, coast is clear. Which it hopefully will be by the time they become uh, activated. Okay, I have the initiative again. So anyway, so... Let's see if um, what the AI does. Okay. Now I can't actually get to the to the woods. One move. Uh, there's no point in salting, really. I mean, you know, 59 chance. But before I do anything, let's remove some orders. Okay. So first of all, I don't need that machine gun firing there. And then, I most definitely not, don't need, well, the Panzer IV. And what I'm going to do, since you can see that there's another uh, MG42 waiting for me there, ready to fire, but I am going to play Burst into action, and I will be bursting into this action here and just shooting these guys using an ammo giving me 50% chance uh, oh well <laughs> okay now I still have a movement point to retreat and one uh, square and that's a good idea because that will put me at least one uh, square worth of wheat field between me and the enemy which might just save their skin okay, now it's my turn immediately again since uh, it looks like uh, one of the other tokens I, re uh, I removed by, by card play were the uh, number one uh, for the enemy so yeah uh, while I'm kind of um, you know struggling through this wheat field and making an ass out of myself, you can hopefully um, uh, see that the cards let you not just simply counter effects, uh, but also if you play them well, they can they can create nice nice combos uh, with each other. Ooh. Well, but they are still alive. Hmm. Simone is rec recommending that I have a go at that box. Well, the only u unit you can really easily fire at me if I move there is the sponsor stack, and um, why not? Some extra grenades, very nice. Okay, suppressed machine gun. I really can't do anything this way. So that was my fourth activation. Clint is going to pick this one up. Rerolls! Yeah, I could... You know... Really use that to kind of uh, enhance my uh, my tactical genius. Okay, um... These guys could might as well start, uh, maybe move one square forward. Uh, let's put Pepper here. Mm. 
and of course I can use this um, list on the left as well to uh, kind of go through my units and see which which of the ones that I uh, haven't moved yet. Okay, the Panzer Shrek uh, prefers to remain hidden. I still only have a hundred points and I only have three turns left, so I better get going. AI has given itself um, a veteran token, which is uh, of course for rerolls. Okay. And I will get mine as well, which is nice. One of my favorite cards once more, which is pretty nice. Ah, dispersion. So if I have, have any uh, if I have any uh, Rifle grenades left. This one is quite use, useful. Yeah, as we as we start getting close to each other, that's um, it's actually this fallback view is going to be um, uh, pretty nice. Okay, I think Stuart is off to go first. No, actually the fire guys, because they are already damaged. Not looking too good. Okay, first of all... Let's play fallback on, well, all of my units, really, just in case. Okay, uh, precision, well, well, I can use, I can always use more veteran tokens. As you know, there is not much point in firing from here, I can't really climb out of the wheat field. Could throw a grenade though. Most definitely I should throw a grenade. And since it's a direct fire, since uh, you know they are in my line of sight and everything, uh, there is no scattered die roll, so I'm not going to play the precision card for this. I'm just going to roll my dice. Uh, you can see... Yay! <laughs> Uh, excuse me? Hey! Ah, oh, come on! <laughs> yeah, so, as you can see, the cards changed the game a big way. I mean, I was just here being happy, seeing my tactical genius eliminating two machine guns. <laughs> uh... Oh well. Right, so, um. Yeah, but you know, uh, I for keep forget uh, forgetting about Clint, but he can actually move, so, um. I think I'm just going to do that. No point in assaulting, but there is a point in shooting these guys in the face. Well, one of the machine guns should be eliminated. It's just killing off my poor uh, hero unit. They are way too entrenched over there. So, let's just throw a grenade. No, n notice how I am aiming at that uh, corner because th that way it cannot affect me. 
let's hope the AI wasn't uh, lucky enough to receive two of those uh, return to sender cards. And let's hope I can actually make a hit because it's going to be harder from, from here. <sighs> okay, so this uh, double machine gun nest has uh, managed to survive uh, two grenade tosses. And there goes a machine gun. So these two uh, tank units of the Germans, they do don't mess around. It's always, uh, it's always nice to see this uh, from the AI, at least in my opinion, that uh, although technically it's on the defensive side, although not fully since uh, uh, I lose points uh, for 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 lost units, but the point is that instead of just uh, you know sitting idle, uh, because because the tank units are in relative safety uh, from my units, they just uh, kind of roam around and uh, kill stuff at point blank range. Okay, recon units. Well, of course, I have discarded uh, my. Uh, my surprise card, so I can't just jump in on one of the windows. Uh, let's just hide. Uh, yeah, I think I'm done. No, I mean, I'm not going to discard it, that's too awesome. I'm discarding this. Fallback is very, very nice, but uh, let's just uh, get some new cards, shall we? Okay, got fallback again. Ah, uh, no, very nice. Uh, basically, you can't cancel uh, the card play uh, of your opponent. Hmm. Let's go with the assumption that this guy is actually going to survive uh, to do something. And I'm, dying, I'm just going to uh, shift my focus over here. And before I pro proceed, I'll just play no, which means I play it now, and it means the next time the AI would play a card. Uh, I mean, by playing, I mean properly play, so not, you know, not assigning it to its units in secret, but actually playing it visible to me. Uh, this will trigger and cancel it. Yeah, and as of course, uh, as it was mentioned on the chat, uh, American way of life is, uh, is pretty sweet, that one more die, you know, could be pretty... Um, Pretty useful. Okay, so the AI wanted to remove one of my order tokens, but that's when my no card triggered and cancelled that play. Very good. Hmm. You know what? I am not going to give up on killing both of these guys with a grenade. It just has to happen. But it didn't. Oh well. Hmm. And that's the end of them, and I'm down to around minus 50 points. Uh, actually, exactly. Minus 50 points. Right. So let's uh, show you American way of life. Uh, 
and of course it's extra nice when you have some rerolls and you get to reroll your gamble and get away with it. By the way, I still ha have fallback, so let's just um, play it for all my units. Okay. Yeah, not much point to shoot. Not much to assault either. But let's use burst into action on Pepper. Just see if. Uh, well, not really, but. Hmm. I'm going to risk staying there. It's not like I'm going to win without uh, taking some great risks. Now, see, that was luck. What I did the previous game, that was good play. <laughs> this was luck. Needless to say, there is no point in shooting here. This guy is kind of slow, being the rock and all. Uh, right. Well, I will need to use the recon guys for something. Clint is hardcore, so he's just going to go out in the open. Fusion. Okay. Ah. Well, repairs is not really any use for me. Uh, I don't have any tanks. And I have now some seriously depleted order token pool. Uh, yep. Playing this on the three possible enemy units. Yay! Got a bunch of free points. Um, probably too late, to be honest. This is less than an I have 125, as you can see on the top right. Uh, Clint could reach these and assault these guys, and actually has 61% chance of succeeding, so. Why not? And they are reduced. And forced out of the square. Uh, too little too late to be honest, but... Uh, 
still at least I'm not uh, going out without a fight. Okay, that's... Well... Okay, I'll choose this one. Nice. Nice. My... Uh, uh, my tactical genius is, uh, is surfacing again. Bit too late though. That's really rude from that tank. Just pushing me out of my defensive position and then shooting me out on the wheat field. That's just... that's just not nice. This was uh, this was this uh, scenario. I'm afraid. Um, as uh, I will be running out of time with the six turns have already spent, uh, and my time is also almost up. I'm afraid. So, I guess the moral of the story here in this particular case scenario is that if you know you are attacking an enemy in a bocage in a very nice defensive position through a weed field, bring more than a couple of half trucks. And um, the conclusion we can uh, get from the first mission is that I'm awesome. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> but uh, besides these two conclusions, um, uh, I hope I managed to show you uh, at least the cards at least a little bit. They really mix up the play, and they are as I mean. Also, I think you could see that the AI is perfectly capable of using them, uh, saving them up for the good occasion, and really making them count. Uh, and and regardless of that, though, it's needless to say that uh, the cards really, really, really shine uh, in in multiplayer. So this is the uh, the build I played uh, is the is the one that we would like to um, the reason as an official update very soon. I'm not giving you a day just yet because we are running our our final final test to make sure uh, there are no hidden bugs that's less uh, left. Tomorrow the public beta guys will receive this update because they uh, have been playing 1.40. This is um, really, it's uh, but it's pretty much the same version. Anyway. Uh, the official update will be out soon. If you if you feel you can't wait, uh, then uh, go to your Steam version and opt into the public beta. You will be able to use the cards. Um, have fun. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye.